Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have little Aristeas here with me today as we are going to be fixing up a few foliage bits and bobs in his tank. So I'll show you how I do that and also how I DIY some little fake succulent plants that I got onto like a little wooden disc stand thing. So yeah, so I'll be showing you that today. Um, and as I say, I've got him with me because this video is mainly about him and his little tank and setup and things because it is, as I say, a bit different from my corn snakes and my Mexican black king snakes tank. So yeah, so anyway, without any further ado, I shall just get straight on with that. And thanks very much for watching. And meanwhile, this little boy is in his holding box with a little coconut hide. He's only going to be in there briefly. So, um, but yeah, having a little mooch. As you can see, I've got these little round discs and I would say they're about three centimetres, two to three centimetres in diameter. So that's what I'm going to use as a base for this. And um, this is just like a little fake succulent plant um, and I've cut the end off because it was a bit long so I'm just going to drill a hole in this and hopefully try and slot that in there but um, yeah so I shall just get on with that. Alright so that's that. So what I'm going to do is just see if this fits. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that does fit. So what I'm going to do is just trim that little bit off there. And then um, I'll put that back through again. And then once this bit's off, I'm going to put a bit of uh, glue on it with a glue gun. Right, so I've just cut that little end bit off there. I've got this little disc with the hole in, so it should fit in. It should fit in like that. There we go. And yeah, I'm just going to pop some glue in there, just hold it in place. But um, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to put a bit of glue just in that little hole there. Yeah, I'll do. And then just pop this in there. So that sits like that, just in there. And there we go. Glue doesn't take long to dry. Um, and yeah, so that's going to go in Aristase's new little tank. There we go. <laughs> So I just drilled another hole in another one of these for this little plant here, this little fake one, um, but the hole's not big enough. So I've got, so I've got like this tool, I don't know if you can see it, I've got this sort of pointy tool with a sanded edge and uh, so yeah I'm just going to make the hole a little bit bigger. Right, we'll see if this fits now. Oh yes, like a glove. So yeah, again, I'm going to put some glue in that hole and then attach this little plant here. And there you have it, another little uh, plant with its own stand. There we go. So that's those two together.
So this one's from Zoomed and this one's from Swell Reptiles. Um, and that one is a kind of naturalistic flora ivy thingy. Um, and this one's a tricolor trailing plant. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's them. So I've put some self-adhesive hooks in this tank and don't worry, I always make sure these are fixed on properly so that they don't come off. And I'm just gonna add some foliage onto there. This is the unboxing part of uh, this video. As you can see, I've already kind of taken the tape and my dress off. Um, so yes, I'm just gonna show you another few little bits that I got for Aristeus. And just to let you know, before I put these in this tank, I will be cleaning them. The first thing I got was this. Now I know I've been making like little succulent plants and bits and bobs, but these were um, sort of at a lower price from the reptile center. Yeah, so I got this uh, little desert plant cactus dude. I think it's called a barrel, barrel cactus and it's small. So I'll put up the price of this as well on the screen. So yeah, so I'm gonna put that in. There we go, get a good look. <laughs> Next thing I got was this star cactus plant. Uh, let's read what it says. Yeah, star cactus. So I got that from the same place, and uh, you know, it was not an offer, but as I say, cheaper than other places um, that sell these sorts of things. So, yeah, so I thought I'd get that as well to pep up Aristeus's little tank. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a clean, put that in. And the next thing I got, or the last thing as well that I got, was this little cave hide. Um, this is by Exoterra. I do love their stuff. Um, and it's a small reptile cave. That's literally the size of it. It is a small. Um, so, yeah. So that's from Exoterra. And that looks really good, actually. A nice little place for him to hide. And it's a bit bigger than some of his other hides. So... And um, you know, ill of time to grow into it and uh, whatnot. So yeah, but um, they're just a few little bits that I got for him. And yeah, I am spoiling him rotten, but whatever. He's my baby. I spoil the others as well, but it's just because he's the youngest and the new little baby. So there we go. <laughs> so this now is Aristeus's tank. As you can see, we've got all the foliage up, a little barrel cactus thing, my little bits that I've made and just popped in there, those two little succulent things, trailing plant, star cactus, and obviously normal finger cactus. And this is his uh, new little cave hide that he's got. So I've taken the black one out and put that one in and hopefully he'll enjoy it. So. Yeah, he's got his bowl of water, obviously, so, uh, and he's just there, milling about. <laughs> yeah, he was investigating that star cactus, but he's uh, busy looking at me now, thinking, Mummy, what are you doing? Leave me alone. Oh, and he's got his little tube still in there as well. So oh, he's got a fright, but at least he's got somewhere to go and hide now if he does get a fright. So yeah, I'm going to leave him to it. He's got something on his head. <laughs> so cute. Okie dokie. So if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, please hit the bell button because then you'll get uh, notifications on my latest videos. If you um, have any questions or comments, just pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But for now, from myself and Aristeus, it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching.